My name is Eric Schwinard. I'm a realtor with Hometown Realtors in North Central Massachusetts. Thank you for watching. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first YouTube video ever. Um, and what I'm really hoping to do is create a channel that is all about all things real estate. Um, you know, the highs and lows of what it's like to actually be a real estate agent, as well as the kind of educational things for first time home buyers, uh, home sellers. We'll talk about foreclosures, uh, short sales, all of that real estate information that you could want to know. Uh, there'll be videos about that stuff as well. Um, but this being my very first video ever, uh, what I thought I would do is sort of set the stage as to the hows and whys I got into real estate. So for 11 years, I was a park ranger with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in Keene, New Hampshire. Um, I got started after my first semester at Keene State College. I was working at a local grocery store in the deli and I was uh, unhappy to say the least. Um, you know, I, I have, my experience has been that grocery stores are pretty cutthroat with their employees. They really don't care about you, you're replaceable. Um, so I, I really, I wanted something better and I came across this ad for a seasonal summer park ranger. And I was like, hey, I like the outdoors, why not? Let me give it a shot, let me, let me see what happens. Um, so I applied and I did get an interview and after my interview, I was offered the position, um, which I took because again, it beats working at a deli and a grocery store. Um, so the job as a summer park ranger was basically outdoors all the time. 40 hours a week, you're outside, you're in the park, uh, you're talking to people, meeting people, um, you know, picking up some litter and trash and stuff, doing some raking, leaf blowing, removing debris, um, that kind of stuff. Um, and I really enjoyed doing that and I enjoyed being able to be outdoors for an entire summer. Now, for the first couple years I worked there, um, things were pretty good. Um, we got out, we did a lot of the stuff that I liked, ran some equipment, I learned how to run um, an excavator, a front end loader. Um, it, it was fun. I mean, there was there was good times and the people were good and, and you know, it was pretty laid back. We worked hard, but we played hard and we had good laughs. Um, but the longer I worked there, um, the more the position kind of started to shift away from what it had been. Um, and I started to realize, you know, I got into being a park ranger because I was passionate about environmental issues and I, I wanted to make a difference. And I was, the longer I was there, I started to feel like the job really didn't matter. Like I didn't feel like I was having any kind of impact. Um, and I started to feel like I really wasn't getting any kind of personal satisfaction out of the work. So the longer I worked there, uh, the less and less I was able to get away from my desk. Um, now I have no reservations in saying I'm not an engineer by any stretch of the mean. Um, by any stretch of the imagination, I should say. Um, I'm not a carpenter, I, I, carpentry is not my thing. Um, and I was really struggling, like I was really having a hard time with what the position was becoming. Um, you know, my entire job was basically telling contractors how to do their work and making sure that they were doing work correctly. And I don't know that stuff, I have no technical knowledge when it comes to that stuff. Um, so I was really struggling. I was really having a hard time with it. And uh, it was starting to affect me, um, you know, outside of work as well. Um, because I was so stressed out at work all the time and, and I felt, you know, even though I had been there for so many years, I just felt like I had no idea what I was doing. Um, it was just affecting me negatively outside of work as well. Um, I was really starting to struggle with um, some heavy duty depression. Um, I started gaining a lot of weight um, because of the stress, um, you know, to the point that it really took a toll on um, my friendships and relationships as well. It got strained um, even with my family because it was just getting to the point where when I wasn't at work, I didn't want to be around anybody. I didn't want to see anybody. I just wanted to stay home and be alone and at the same time 
um, because I was so stressed out, I had a short fuse and I was kind of explosive and angry and uh, just just really struggling with the whole thing. Um, I, I was really unhappy. You know, I I was blowing through my vacation time and my sick leave um, because I just didn't want to be at work and I didn't know what else to do. Um, and to be fair, I did feel like crap all the time um, because I was eating like crap, I was stressed, I was depressed, um, but it was just, it was getting bad. I mean, I couldn't be to work. I hated being there. I didn't want to have anything to do with it. And it just got to the point where I just needed to do something. Something had to give. I, I had to find something better um, because it was very clear to me that if I stayed at that job, it, it was it was going to probably kill me. And being able to leave, um, it wasn't an overnight thing. I mean, it took a long time of just trying to figure out where do I go from here. Um, I had really never had a real job outside of that one. Um, I didn't even know what to do. I, you know, I didn't even know what my strengths were. I had an English degree. What do I do with an English degree besides teaching, which I really didn't want to do. I needed to find something and I was really racking my head. I mean, I went through everything. Um, I looked at going back to school. I looked at doing uh, video and audio production. Um, I mean, I just was really grabbing any straw I could find to find a way out. So real estate was something that I had actually thought about for many years, but when I thought about it, it was really more of like a hobby or something to do later in my life. You know, like when I retire, it was something to do with supplemental income. Uh, it really wasn't anything I had ever considered as being a possibility for an actual career. Um, it was really my mother and, and my girlfriend, Megan, that the two of them were just kind of like, hey, you've talked about real estate. Why don't you take the exam? Why don't you get licensed? Um, then you can just start doing it on the side. And if you like it and you do well at it, then, you know, maybe you can make the transition later. But at the very least, you know, maybe it's something to help take your mind off of um, how unhappy you are. So I signed up for a real estate course. And the very first day I walked into the real estate course and it was like the, one of the first things the instructor said was, uh, if you're here to do real estate part time, you're never going to make it. You're never going to succeed doing real estate part time. Um, and I remember I stayed after class that day and talked to him and I was just kind of like, you know, what makes you say that? Why do you think that you can't succeed in real estate part time? And his response was basically, um, you know, if you have something to fall back on, you will always fall back on it. If you know you have a safety net, you're willing to fall into the safety net. Um, you know, the people that do real estate full time, they're the ones that succeed because they have to. So I finished the real estate course and I studied my ass off like I had never studied for anything before. I mean, morning, noon and night, every waking hour of the day, I studied for that exam. So I signed up for the test and was given the date and I went in and took the test. Now, I was told that when you take the test, which is a computer based test, as a lot of these professional licensure exams are. Um, you know, I was told that if you pass, the results will come up on the screen and say, hey, congratulations, you passed. Um, so I've always been very fast when it comes to taking tests, uh, and this was no exception. Um, so I was definitely the first one done by a long shot. And when I hit submit, nothing popped up. It just said, you know, thank you very much for taking the test. Go see the administrator. And I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. I failed. Uh, and I felt like crap and I had like my head down I had like a walk of shame out to the administrator and handed him all my things and he's like wow you're a really fast test taker huh and I'm thinking well yeah I am but maybe I should have taken a little bit more time I might have passed um, and then he's like well but congratulations you passed but getting into real estate um, was not without you know some some troubles um, you know, leaving a job with all full benefits and salary is a hard pill to swallow. Um, and things actually got a little tense between my girlfriend and I during that period of time because, um, you know, nobody, we just didn't know, nobody knew how it was going to work out. And, you know, there's a high probability of failure in real estate. So 
um, we were definitely nervous. She was definitely nervous and uh, I was nervous. Um, but after I had my first couple of closings, I think she really started to be like, okay, I can calm down a little bit. Um, he can, he can do this. And, uh, ever since then it's been great. And, um, I'm much, much happier. I'm, I love what I do now. The single biggest difference between when I was a park ranger to being real estate and the single reason that I love doing real estate uh, is the personal satisfaction I get that I was really missing as a park ranger. Um, you know, when you help somebody buy or sell a home, especially like a first time home buyer that never thought they would own a home, um, and the relationships that you make with people as you go through this process with them, it's just, uh, it just means so much to me. Um, I'm now entering my third year in real estate and 2019 um, I had a great year and I actually made top producer last year so um, that was really fantastic and I really owe a lot of that to Sarah Lyman for the training she gave me and um, just for putting me in a position to succeed. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video consider giving me a subscribe. Um, there'll be more videos coming. Um, if there's something you would actually like to know about, if you have any questions, what it's like to be a real estate agent, or you know any any real estate related questions you have, um, feel free to leave them below in the comments, and uh, I'll take a look at them and I'll make a video for you and I'll, I'll answer your questions. Um, otherwise, I'll see you the next one.